Hi everybody, just a quick video to explain what to do when your original Xbox One shows the black screen of death. When you go on the Xbox um, homepage, it explains about pressing a button, the X button, to access the troubleshooting page, but on the original models, you just can't do that. So this is my Xbox One that was purchased in 2016, and after the most recent update, the screen just went black. So the first thing I did was I restarted everything and the green screen came up but it didn't access the home page it just went immediately black and I couldn't do anything with it and after much much investigation what I found out what you need to do or one thing to try is the first thing to do is pull out all your cards give it 10 or 20 seconds just to drain all the power out of the machine and the next bit is going to need two people so you're going to need to find a friend so just plug everything back in. Now there's three buttons on this machine. There's your on button at the front, which is the X button. There's the eject button for the disc player. And then there's one round the side here that's called a pairing button. And that button is what you use when you want it to do an offline systems update. But we're not gonna do that today because what I tried is if you get your friend to hold down the eject button and the pairing button at the same time. Keep Tell them to keep holding that down. And while they're doing that, you press the on button. Keep the button pressed on and you'll hear the on noise. And if you keep the buttons pressed on, a couple of seconds later, you'll hear that noise again. And that's when you can release the buttons and it should then bring up the troubleshooting page on the machine. So you activate your controller It'll give you a couple of options. There's continue doing nothing, which just ignore because it's not working. There's no point continuing. There's another option to do an offline update to the operating system. But again, you'll need to put the operating system onto a USB flash drive and then put that into the machine. Ignore that one. And then underneath that, there's two options. One is do a factory reset, which you'll do if you're selling the machine or giving it away. And the other one is to do a factory reset, but keep your games and apps. Click on that and then the machine just should do everything automatically. Um, and what I found is, you know, you'll need your password for your Wi-Fi because it'll reconnect everything to your internet. But uh, that, it was as easy as that. You, it just, uh, 10 minutes tops, I think, it just reset itself, reconnected to the internet, and then when it reloaded up, all my games and apps were there and the black screen of death was gone. Um, so I'll try that. It's a quick, easy thing to do and hopefully that'll stop you throwing your Xbox out the window. Thanks everybody, hope that helps.